Hi guys! I know it's been a while since I've put up a video. Actually, I've recorded a lot of videos, but I just haven't had a lot of time to edit them. But I wanted to step away from um, vampire stuff for just one video and get back to um, talking about music. Um, before I start talking about music, I want to mention, you know, Scott Weiland from Stone Temple Pilots has passed yesterday, and um, it was a horrible thing for me to find out before going to sleep. I mean, I wasn't distraught. Um, many people aren't surprised, but I still think it's it, it, it's a heavy loss to the rock community. So, rest in peace, Scott. So, this is basically going to be a collections video. I collect band tees, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I wear them all, all the time, um, especially since I work more than I actually have free time. But, um, I collect band tees. I've been collecting band shirts for the majority of my early teens um, up until now, and I'm hoping to get at least one shirt of every band that I sincerely like, so the collection is still going to be growing. So I thought with this I would just show you what I have thus far. Um, this is my most recent one. This is a Van Halen tee, and it's actually a 1984 tour tee. There's like tour dates on the back. It's super cool. I actually got it at Forever 21. Out of all places, Forever 21. So I have drawers right down here, and I'm just going to pull out a shirt and just show it off. And uh, if there's a story behind it, then I'll talk about it. I have uh, a lot of Escape the Fate shirts. Escape the Fate was my favorite band. I would say it kind of still is. Um, they really affected my life when I was growing up. So this is number one. This is actually a really good way for me to be able to um, refold my band tees. A lot of them get all crumbled up down there. This is an old one. I've had this for a long time. This is a Black Sabbath tee. I don't wear it very often. It's in that baby girl style. I like to wear guy versions of shirts and then cut them. So this kind of style of the shirt, uh, style of the shirt. I cannot talk today. This style of shirt doesn't always flatter me, so um, I don't normally wear that shirt. But it is cute regardless. This is a band that um, I used to like. Um, I should probably get rid of their shirt. But it's um, Sleeping With Sirens. I got this at Hot Topic. A lot of them are from Hot Topic, so Sleeping With Sirens. That's all i got to say about that. Uh, the reason I don't like them anymore is because... Um, um, I heard they actually make fun of fans that used to, that would cry when they would meet them, and if you don't know how much music can affect somebody like that, um, then you have no right to be laughing, because that's some serious emotional stuff. I, for one, was someone like that, not with Sleeping the Sirens, but with, like, Escape the Fate and things, and that's not something to joke about, so... Take a note. Um, this is another Escape the Fate shirt. It's uh, probably the, one of the more boring um, designs. You can, actually can't even see the... There's many ETFs on there. So I think this one was another Hot Topic one. This is a baseball tee. And it's uh, for all those sleeping. They're no longer a band anymore, but um, they're still, like... They they were amazing. Amazing dudes, incredibly talented, so down to earth, just so chill. So, yeah, really cool. And it was it's very comfortable. So, when it's cold outside and the the when it's cold outside in uh, one or two days in Florida, this comes in handy. This is a Motionless in White t-shirt. I actually got this at a concert. It's actually a small, but it's too big for me. So it has them on the front. We have come to scare you to death. Yes. And then I, it says, um, M-I-W on the back. M-I-W. Um, I actually haven't heard their latest album yet. Um, I don't know if I was really impressed by it when I heard one of their singles, so I didn't even bother, but... <clears throat> Either way, this is an In Dying Arms shirt. I used to listen to In Dying Arms a lot, and, um, um, I don't know how, I guess you could call it metalcore, I suppose. Um, and this was, like, their new album, I Have It. Their previous album before this is probably my favorite, though. Like, they're, they're a pretty good band. They're from Maryland, I think. I don't want this to be, like, a, oh, check out this band kind of video or anything, but 
you know, whatever. This is actually a, uh, a shirt. It was one of my friend's um, bands. <clears throat> and it says, let's bro down. And it was um, Alhambra Falls. Yeah, they are just like, here, have it. Because I, I took some pictures at their shows before. And um, yeah, they was just like, here you go. Happy birthday. I'm like, hey, thanks. <laughs> um, this is another Motionless in White t-shirt. It was actually one of my favorites. I'd wear it all the time. Um, so it has this uh, front part here. And they have a song uh, called Puppets. So I'm not your puppet. And uh, yeah, really cool song. <laughs> okay. Big ball of shirts right here. Okay. So this was, <laughs> this was, I was trying to make a dress and it just didn't work. Um, so I might have to just re-edit this and do something else with it. But this is, this was meant to be a Marilyn Manson, like, halter dress. Yeah, it looks awful. I bought, like, an XL. Um, it's not even long enough to be a dress. So what I might do is, um, edit it to be, like, a strapless shirt. Does it have, oh yeah, it does have, it has the Manson symbol on the back, but... I don't know. I'll figure out something because I really like the design on this. And um, this is um, from a band, um, Tonight is Glory. I It was a failed cutting attempt. Um, it was meant to be like a halter top and it like tore and broke. So I hate when I buy t-shirts and then they just don't work out, man. It sucks. Um, so again, this is something that has to be edited. I might have to get some material and create um, straps again. As you can see, this isn't, this is not a pliable strap. This is not cool. So, Tonight's Glory, they're from Texas. Um, I, I was very much into the post-hardcore type genre, and um, they still have music out, so I would go and look them up. They're actually really good, so, yeah. This is finally some classic rock getting in here. I've been, like, promoting this new stuff, not promoting, but talking about new stuff. Um, I've had this shirt for years. This is um, Ozzy Osbourne, and it's the Speak to the Devil tour. I got it at Hot Topic, of course. I got I got most of my t-shirts from Hot Topic, and if there are any other ones that I didn't get from Hot Topic, I got them um, at a concert. Don't you love, like, I'm showing off my double chin? Like, every time I'm folding my shir the shirts, it's just like, double chin! Check it out. And this is um, a Doors shirt. I love the Doors. So it's just the logo. There's nothing There's nothing interesting about it or anything. But yeah, that's really it. And you can see that I cut it because it was already a plain shirt to begin with. So now I can just kind of wear it off the shoulder or something. Oh my god, I've been recording for 10 minutes already. This is going to be a long video. <sighs> Here we go. All right. Alrighty, more 80s. This is a poison top. I got it at Hot Topic. Look what the cat dragged in, right? Right? Yep, look what the cat dragged in, so. I want action tonight, satisfaction, alright. This is also an Aussie shirt. I got this at Hot Topic, <clears throat> and I cut it a little bit. It doesn't have Aussie's face on it or anything, I don't think. No, it just has, like, a demon face or something. This is Blizzard of Oz. One night only. So, oh, it wasn't a demon. It was a train because of Crazy Train. Oh, I'm so smart. Okay. This is another 80s band shirt. I got this online. And this is LA Guns. So we have their infamous logo on the front. You can see that I cut the top and I um, cinched in the sides. The back looks like that. LA Guns No Mercy Tour 88. That's pretty much when they had their peak, um, was that first album for sure. Okay. And I was in middle school, I was a huge Hinder fan. I still listen to that first album and I'm like, yes. Some people like to make fun of Hinder that they're crap and stuff. Maybe like their later records, but that first record was like everything to me, so Hinder. I also got this at Hot Topic, believe it or not. So This is, I used to be a huge fan of Modern Day Escape. Um, they are a local band here in Orlando, or were, I don't know what they're doing now, but um, they're past their peak. And um, they had a song called Let's Get Sweaty, so let's get sweaty. And then 
modern day escape on the back and it's just cut you know that's really it it fit me really nicely I wear it to shows a lot so this is also a for all those sleeping top Minnesota they're from Min Minnesota they're from Minnesota <laughs> and this is just like a really simple top there's like nothing magical about this but this is a slipknot very straight to the point their pentagram star thing and uh the S symbol. Hot Topic, where else? <laughs> you know? I actually don't shop at Hot Topic very much anymore. Not only because I used to work there, but because, um, I don't know, I'm just not really interested in any of the t-shirts they have anymore. I have a lot, so it takes a lot for me to be like, I want that band tee, so. Um, I'm a huge Kiss fan, so of course I have Kiss tees. Um, these are all the solo records on one tee. It's solo record album covers and then the logo on the back and of course Smooth up in you. <laughs> I have bullet boys um, this is actually a, a t-shirt for their album after smooth up in you but it's a freak show um, but I had to get it I love bullet boys so great and mighty Dio we're off to the witch we may never 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 return okay. sorry <laughs> But, uh, yep, have to have a Dio top. We're the last in line! Whoa! We're the last in line! Alright, I'm fine. Okay. Another kiss tee. This is more feminine, and it's actually... I would say this is the most 70s looking shirt I have, as far as, like, the color, and, um, just using the Hotter in Hell uh, album cover like that. It just looks so 70s. I This is normally like a PJ top or like around the house top for me, but it is super comfortable and I love this shirt. Yeah, guess where I got it? <laughs> Hot topic, but like years ago. I've had this shirt for a while. Um, I got this at a show. Um, it was sometimes like when I go to shows and there's like barely anybody there, I try to help out the bands because touring bands they don't make that much money, especially if they're not, like, really big, so I try to at least give, like, pay, buy something so that they can eat or get gas or whatever, so this is a band called No Bragging Rights. I didn't listen to them all that much, um, but I bought it just to, um, help them out a little bit, so it's a really cool t-shirt, though, so, yeah, go check them out. <laughs> Support bands. Do it. I don't even know why I really bought this shirt. I wasn't really into this band. I know I like a couple of songs, if that, but I have an NXS shirt. <laughs> so, yeah. I've got to let you know you're my kind. <laughs> That's about it. And I have a dime bag t shirt. See how his wings are flames? It's so freaking cool. And they have his birth date on the top there, 1966. And next I have a... Ooh, sorry, itchy nose. I have an Avenged Sevenfold t-shirt. Um, I got this when the White Album came out. That's their self-titled album. Um, I think it was the last album with The Rev as well. So has a lot of significance for me. I, I don't wear this t-shirt a lot, but, you know, just holding it in my hands now just made me think about, I was obsessed with that album. Like, I freaking loved it. So, I got said Hot Topic. Where else, right? Where else? Where else? Where else? And, um, there was a point in time where I really loved 30 Seconds to Mars. So, I have this shirt as well. Okay, let's face it. We're not, we don't really like 30 Seconds to Mars. We like Jared Leto. Well, at least for me. Okay. Anyway. There's the back. So it's the... I guess I guess it's an album cover, right? Album cover? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> you can see how big of a fan I am, huh? It's amazing that I own, like, band shirts for bands that I don't really care about. Weird. Alrighty. I got this at Hot Topic as well. It's like Moss to Flames. Um, their singer, Chris Roeder, I followed him from um, A Graceful. And he used to also sing for Emerosa. So he's had a pretty good music career for just a guy in his 20s. So um, they're a really great brand. I guess you would say, I guess you could say they're metalcore. Um, I would 
give them a listen. This one has a story. Um, this is actually not my shirt. This is my dad's, and he gave it to me. It's a legitimate vintage shirt from the era. This is a Skid Row tee. You can tell, right, by how faded it is. There are holes in it. You know, it's, it's very, very thin. Um, I don't wear it very often. Um... And I don't wash it very often if I wear it because that'll just make it wear and tear more. Um, but yeah, I freaking love this shirt and the sentimental value. I love my daddy. <laughs> um, boy, there was a year on it. I'm not quite sure, but it says Peace of Me on the back, and that's one of their songs. Um, so sometime in like mid to late 80s, I would say this shirt is, as far as age goes... Um, okay, and this is another Escape the Fate t-shirt. I think, I think I got this at Hot Top, no I didn't, no. I got this at um, my first Escape the Fate show ever, um, and it was actually with the original singer, Ronnie Radke. I've only seen Escape the Fate with Ronnie Radke once, and every other time was with Craig Mavitt. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> I originally saw them with the original singer only once, and this is the shirt I got at the show. I was 15. I'm 23, <laughs> so, um, you know, it's very sentimental to me. I can't believe I, for I forgot, like, where I got it. I was like, did I get the Hot Topic? Because I seem to get all my shirts at Hot Topic. So, no, but I got this at the show. Um, he was a huge douchebag. Huge douchebag. So, keep that in mind if you ever meet him. Just stay on your guard and he, if he's an asshole, kick him in the balls. Okay. Um, I'm a huge fan of In This Moment while I was. Um, I'm not really into their newer music. I know now that they've really blown up. Um, I wonder why. <laughs> but um, I really love their older music, so I have In This uh, Moment. And it says, Welcome to the Gun Show. Freaking amazing song. I would sing some, but it's all screaming, and I can't scream for my life. Yeah, not even going to try. <laughs> so this band I don't listen to them a lot but when I do I, I feel like you know I can really jam to them I can get lost in their music it's very unlike the normal music I listen to um, I don't even know what that means but they're not really a genre that I listen to very often I guess I should say and it's social distortion and I just love the pinup um, vibe that they have in their merchandise um, which was a reason I got it Sex, love, rock and roll. It's just, it's just a cute shirt, and they're a good brand too. Like, um, besides Story of My Life, they also have Ball and Chain. That's a really good song too. So, it's a really comfortable shirt. You see, it's like super stretchy. I would just wear it with like a tank top underneath or something. You know, really easy. Um, -na 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 -na. Um, I don't really wear this shirt either. I've had this for years, but I, I don't want to part with my band shirts. I can't because I'm collecting them. So Aerosmith, and then it has Aerosmith on the back as well. Instead of saying Aerosmith once, you got to say it twice. So there is that. It's like baby doll fashion. Hot Topic, of course. Um, this is an ACDC shirt. My, I think my dad sent me this, and it was gigantic, so I had to cut it. Um, so it's just a tank top now. It's a little long. I didn't cut the bottom, because sometimes, depending on how the shirt looks, it actually is flattering. So that's why it looks a little long, but yeah. High voltage. I got this at a show. I got this, um, my mama said I got married in Las Vegas, and... Then we went to California, and there was a show in Pomona at the Glass House, and I saw Escape the Fate there in the rain. It was cold and rainy in Jan February. I was 16, and I got this shirt, and, uh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> so there's the story for that shirt, and, uh... If that means anything to you, I, I live in Florida, so going all the way across the country, and then, like, my mom bought the ticket. She's like, go. And I'm like, you're going to let me go? And she's like, yeah, why not? And so I went to a concert <laughs> in California. Uh, so 
I was also very much into Pierce the Veil. So this was my first Pierce the Veil shirt. It was it wasn't something I wore very often because it's so like neon -y and like crazy. This is not something I would normally wear even now. Um, but this is my first Pierce the Veil shirt. Um, I got it at I got it at Hot Topic. Yeah. Oh my God, this one is so faded. I don't even know if it'll show up on here. This is really old. It's so faded. That's where Jim's face is. So it's supposed to be a door shirt. <laughs> it's a door shirt, I swear to God. <laughs> it's a it's a door shirt, and um, it has Jim's face on the front. It says the doors in rainbowy letters. And then on the back, it says, hello, I love you. Look, the back is so visible, and this front is like, now. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, they're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, door shirt, hot topic, many years ago. So old and faded. <laughs> this is a For All Those Sleeping shirt. This was my first For All Those Sleeping shirt. I won this in a contest. It was back in the years of, of um, Facebook, MySpace, and um, I forgot how, what the rules were, but you just had to like enter and you won a t-shirt and a poster. I still have the poster. I don't have it hanging anymore, but I have it and I got them all to sign it. Um, but here's the shirt. I'm not dead yet for all those sleeping. So this shirt means a lot to me because I don't win contests. They don't win stuff. So when, when I won, I was like, what? So I got a free shirt and poster, and that was so cool. I had to cut it because you don't get to pick your size. So, um, um, this is um, my only Iron Maiden top. I know I don't own very many. Um, I would love a number of the Beast one one day, but this is there's Eddie on here, and he's got what? He's holding. Um, um, it doesn't look like he's holding a guitar. Looks like he's holding some type of weapon. I don't know. But on the back it says Iron Maiden. Just trees, branches, or lightning, whatever it is on the back. So maybe one day I'll get a Number of the Beast one. That because that's one of my favorite songs. It's cliche to be like Run of the Hills is my favorite song. The Trooper. You know, it's like this. I got this at a show. I was actually seeing Escape the Fate. Um, but the sleeping were opening, um, I'm going to skip they were opening too, they weren't headlining, but the sleeping was before them, and so, um, I decided to get it. It's one of the most comfortable shirts, and it's one of my only v-necks, and it just says the sleeping on it. Don't hold back, don't hold back, back tonight! <laughs> You're gonna take control, ba 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 <laughs> Oh wow, I know one song! How great. So worthy of me to own a shirt by them, huh? Okay. Okay, this, I got this at Hot Topic. Um, I was very much into the band Attila. Um, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. the singer lives here. He used to live in Georgia. Um, his name is Franz. His nickname is Franz. And um, they had a song called Payback, and this is um, the lyrics. I let my actions speak loud. And the song and the um, album's called Outlawed. And of course, Attila down there at the bottom. What does that say? It says, um, socialize li uh, liberally, party heavily. So, um, so sleep around, party hard. Is that what basically? <laughs> um, I ordered, I remember. I ordered this online. I don't remember. I think I ordered this from their record label. Um, not directly from them or, um, like, online on, like, Rockabilia or something. But it's a mirror. I've seen a mirror once or twice. Once on purpose. Um, twice by, like, walking around on, like, Warp Tour and, like, seeing them. Um, but a mirror and then it has the E on the back. It is a girl fit, so I didn't have to cut it or anything. Um, it's not baby doll either. It's just a feminine cut, so it's a bit easier to wear. Um, so yeah. This is a band called Vampires Everywhere. In fact, they don't go by Vampires Everywhere, yeah, Vampires Everywhere anymore. Um, they go by a different name, and that was just the singer's choice to, um, alter the band and the, the vision and all that. But they were mainly, um, a vampire-esque band, and that's probably why I was so into them. <laughs> the guy's, the singer's name is his, his, like, his, 
um, stage name is Michael Vampire, so oftentimes he actually would pretend to be a vampire. Not that he drank blood or anything, but he would have this um, aura about him that he would um, kind of like uh, play this role. Ooh, I have a hair sticking up. Play this role as like a vampire. So anyway, here's this shirt, Vampires Everywhere. It's got Nosferatu on it, and he's uh. Um, he's about to put the werewolf in a well or something. Quite a violent t-shirt, might I say so. But I think I got this at Warp Tour, um, because I think, no. No, I got this at Hot Topic. Yeah. Um, I got it at Hot Topic. Um, their shirts were hard to find, too, so I was like, ah, they got one! I got a, I got a, I got a buy it. So, I'm also a huge Red Hot Chili Peppers fan. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, not like... Oh my god, I love Red Hot Chili Peppers, but, you know, I, I, I like Red Hot Chili Peppers a lot enough to get a shirt. So, um, it's a Blood Sugar Sex Magic, and I, uh, it used to be a full shirt, obviously. I only had recently cut it, like, a year ago, and I've had it for years, and I was, I guess I was just tired of wearing it like a big baggy t-shirt, and went on ahead and cut it. Here is another Escape the Fate shirt. Guess where I got it? I can't hear you. Yep, hot topic. And uh, there it is. It's probably one of their more beautiful um, and symmetrical um, t-shirt designs. So you can see I still do that air fold like a boss, right? 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 Hopefully some of my ex-hot topic employee member things are watching. Probably not. <clears throat> okay. This, I got this at a show. This was the same show that... I got my No Bragging Rights shirt, and it's a band called Destruction of a Rose. Um, I have their EP. I bought it that day because I was so freaking impressed. Um, the singer's not in the band anymore. I don't even know if they're even together anymore, but look at that EP, man. It is so freaking good. Do it. Um, it's very heavy. Very heavy. I even got them to sign a poster for me. Like, I went all around, like, all around the venue, like, to a tour bus to, like, get it signed. I was, like, I'm so impressed by these dudes. And I was hanging out with them before, and they were, like, so chill and nice. I'm just, like, dude. Dude, I'm taking home a poster, and you're going to sign it. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a Motionless in White t-shirt. I got this at a show. I get most of my Motionless in White shirts at shows, I think. I would think. Um, this one's a unique cut. Uh, it used to be a full t-shirt, um, but now it's a strapless, and I would just tie it from the back. And, yeah. It took a lot to get in and out of this shirt, <laughs> but it was worth it because it looks really cool, and it's my only shirt that's designed this way. It's really risky to, uh, to do shirts like this, so. But anyway, I didn't discuss, um, what's on the front. Their second full length, I think it is. First full length. Um, they have a song called Abigail, and the song starts as Burn Baby Burn, because Abigail's is a witch, and, you know, they burn witches, you know what I'm saying? Um, this was a attempt to cut into a halter top. I think it works. The only thing is that the back slouches, so I have to... Um, cinch the back, but that's basically it. Um, but it's Kiss. <laughs> it's Kiss Live um, with the Destroyer logo on there. Um, Thursday, July. July 10th, 8 p.m. Uh, the Spirit of 76 Tool. 76 is when um, Destroyer came out. Um, the Ro Roosevelt Stadium. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not really worried about, like, cutting, like, some shirts, because I have so many shirts of, like, Kiss and stuff that that one doesn't have that much sentimental value to me. So I was okay with, like, cutting that one, but certain ones I'm so afraid to cut. This is my only queen top. I think I also got this at Hot Topic. Um, so it has... Kind of an um, later era queen, considering Freddie Mercury has his mustache. This used to be a felt. It used to be like a, um, a felt uh, material, but um, with years, uh, 
it has washed away and now it's just uh, kind of rough there so again I don't really wear it um, so but it's cool this one I got recently it was about a year ago me and my mom and stepdad went to go see Black Label Society and the devil you know opened and that is um, Howard Jones's new band Howard Jones used to be the singer of um, Kill Switch Engage <clears throat> so the devil you know and then it actually has our tour right on the back there so just representing you know my mom is a huge kill switch fan as I as I am as well um, so she wanted to of course support um, his new band I am literally almost done I have like one more drawer to go through and then I know it sounds like oh my god I have another drawer but um, that one doesn't have that many band shirts in it so all right that drawer is empty so one drawer down this I got this at Hot Topic this is um, I think one of my favorites um, I wanted a new Black Sabbath shirt because you saw my other Black Sabbath shirt and I was like uh, I don't like it so this one is just like a summer tank um, really cool filter on the photo um, and it kind of just uh, has a very slopey shoulder so I can wear like a bralette or something really simple same on the other side doesn't have anything on the back but you know it is it does have holes in it so it's really good for summer and um, those warm days it's just a very all-around comfortable shirt so I love it this is an escape the fade shirt I think I think I got said the hot topic too. Just looking at the size of the shirt, um, if it were possible, I would buy the shirt in extra small or youth large. And this is an extra small. You can tell it's super super tiny. This is um, upon this dawning. Uh, they are a band from Italy. The original Screamer is no longer in the band, and so at that point, I had a hard time listening to them after because I was very hurt by his departure because his screams to me is what made the song so amazing and to part with that is very difficult so but feel free to check them out that's just me I can't listen to them um, without like getting emotional which is stupid but anyway upon this dawning cool shirt I actually bought this at the show I think I bought it at the show I think I bought this at the show. I think I bought this at the show and then I bought their album later. Um, because um, this actual show, Upon This Dawning, I was actually there to see For All Those Sleeping. But Upon This Dawning was opening. And um, there was like barely anybody there. And I felt awful. So I bought every, I bought something from everybody. So, I know that seems like a huge financial, like, decision to make, to be, like, to buy one thing from every band, but you have to think about it. They're, like, dead broke, living in a van, and constantly on the move, not really showering, probably not eating very much, using most of their money on gas money so that they can get somewhere. I mean, you have to think about it in that way, so... I've, I've been rather generous with bands, you know. We are the ones feeding them, so I just wanted to help them out in that way. This is an Icy Star shirt. I've never seen them live. I bought this at Hot Topic. Um, there was a time when I was very, very into Icy Stars. Um, so I got the shirt and stuff. Oh man, this shirt, just looking at it, just brought back so many memories. I, A Skylit Drive was one of my favorite bands ever, and um, I bought this shirt, um, I think I bought it at Hot Topic, and I remember discovering A Skylit Drive because I saw Escape the Fate, and they were opening, and I fell in love. In love. And I loved wearing this shirt all the time it used to be a bit longer um i cut the bottom because i wanted it to be more i started wearing high-waisted pants and when they're cut they look better with high-waisted pants so i had up cutting cutting the bottom as well so 
<sighs> I love how like I just pick up a shirt and I'm just like, oh, memories. That's so, that's so powerful. Music is so powerful, is it not? It's just amazing. I freaking love it. This one, back to the 80s. This is uh, Motley Crue, Shout at the Devil. This is super old. I've had this since early high school. Very old. Um, Shout at the Devil tour with all the dates on the back as well. Um, I try not to, um, if there is stuff on the back, I try not to cut it off. I didn't do it here. Um, I cut a little bit of the logo off here, but it's obvious what it is at the top, but Either way, what I plan on doing with all these shirts um, in the future, they're not just going to sit and rot. They're actually going to, um, there's, there's going to come a day where I don't want to wear banties anymore. I know that. So basically I want to um, sew them all into like a big blanket, like a big quilt. Um, I've sewn before, not very much anymore, but I have, and so... This is also another attempt to make a halter top. Um, almost a success. Again, the back is droopy, so I need to fix that. But it says Stay Metal, and it's Miss May I. There was a time where I was quite into Miss May I, not like crazy, but, you know, enough to, to have a shirt. Um, so I got it, and I like that it says Stay Metal. A lot of their shirts came out with that um, saying on the front, and I thought it was just super cool. Um... This is another Escape the Fate shirt. I got this at Rockabilia because I wanted another t-shirt with, um, like, Ronnie Radke related. Um, so this is Escape the Fate on the front. It's very old school. It's got all the original members on the front there. And, um, so nostalgic. Oh, man. They were such little babies back then, weren't they? In their early 20s like I am now. So funny. This is another Kiss shirt. This is a more metallic style, and it has a more modern Kiss on the front. That picture was taken um, there in their comeback era in the early 90s with, like, Psycho Circus. So it's a very, um, very awesome shirt. It's not just some album cover or old picture of them. It's, it's, it's a newer picture, which is cool. So that's my first drawer. Let me open this next drawer here. This shirt was given to me by my best friend. That's probably why I haven't gotten rid of it or anything, but um, it's a Paramore shirt. And I used to be very into Paramore, very old school Paramore. Um, so it's a rather cool shirt. I just don't know if I would wear this like color anymore or anything, so. Oh boy. Okay, I know this one. This is um, another friend of mine's band. It's actually the same friend. Um, he also played in a ska band, um, and it's called Send Out, oh, that's not it. This is, this is it. Send Out Scuds. Um, like I said, they were a ska band, and they just went on ahead and gave me, like, a t-shirt, and it was so nice. So Send Out Scuds, and, um, I don't know what it says at the bottom. What does this say? I can't read it. It says... Save the saves the whales. It saves the whales. <laughs> I bought this at a motionless and white show, I believe. Yes. Um, the keyboardist's name is um, Josh Balls. I'm serious. His name is Josh Balls, and it says I love balls. <laughs> I heart balls, and then motionless and white on the back. Infamous tour. So it tells you exactly. When I got it, 2012. Really? Wow. I've had this shirt for since. I've had this shirt since 2012. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see here. This is another kiss top. Um, it has Mr. Paul Stanley on the front. It's more modern Paul Stanley. This is Psycho Circus Paul Stanley, and then of course the Kiss logo on the back. This is another kiss top. This has a story. I met Kiss wearing this. Okay, me and my mom went to a KISS show, and then the next morning we found out where they were staying, so we went to the hotel to see if we could find them, and we found Jean and Paul, and they uh, we met them wearing these shirts. My mom has one as well, so very important shirt in my collection. Probably the most important KISS shirt. Ever. I have a Slipknot shirt. I haven't worn this in a while. It's perfectly folded for years. 
You can tell this is a youth large. It's very small um, because I uh, sometimes in big shirts are just too big and I can't stand it. So it has all uh, nine members on the front. And then it has the their special star pentagram on the back. I'm guessing that's what it's called. I don't know. Sorry for any Slipknot fans I offend. I don't know what that symbol on the back is called. It looks like a pentagram type deal. So I got this at a local show. It's a band called Us From Outside. They're actually not called that anymore. I don't remember what their new name is called. Um, but... I saw them once, the singer is out of his mind, cool, so, bought it to support, support the bands, support. This is a very old shirt, I haven't worn this for a long time, but I got a tool shirt, so it says tool on the front. You can probably see why I haven't worn it, it is freaking small. I don't know why I thought it would fit in this, but it's a rather cool shirt though. It has their eye stuff, their eye symbol on there, and then on the sleeve, it actually says Tool, Los Angeles, California, right there, and then another little star um, symbol. Um, this is an Escape the Fate shirt. I did get this at a show because it is legit their album cover. It was their comeback album after Ronnie Rodkey left, so... Again, a very important shirt to me. Da, 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 has their names written below. This war is ours. This is just the album cover. Nothing on the back. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, this shirt. Um, um, the band is called um, <clears throat> I Wrestled a Bear Once. And um, they're very it's crazy metal. It's just... It's crazy. It's just... It has a rhyme and reason to it, but when you first listen to it, it sounds like a chaotic mess. Um, so, I put metal just got gay. <laughs> and it's all rainbow, and it says I wrestled a bear once at the bottom. It's just a fun shirt. I got it in high school. Don't judge me. I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan. I am in love with Eddie Vedder, and um, I had to get a Pearl Jam shirt. So, this is the Alive um, little symbol here. And the back is like a uh, set list. I I would like to say that this is the um, song listing for 10, the album. This is a... This is a Guns N... No. I'm saying this is a Guns N' Roses shirt. This is not a Guns N' Roses shirt. I actually don't own a Guns N' Roses shirt. That's probably something I should get, but... This is a Cowboys from Hell shirt. This is um, a Pantera. So it has a skeletal cowboy on the front who's on fire, Cowboys from Hell. <clears throat> and it has the uh, Pantera uh, name on the back. I don't know why it says 90 on the back, though. Oh, the year. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. So 90 meaning, of course, the year that the album came out. So this is another Pierce the Veil shirt. I think I also got this at Hot Topic. It's They, they do like cutesy shirts. So Pierce the Veil, there's a big monster and he's stabbing himself, which is, you know, a great message to the kids. I mean, really. So that's... Uh, that's a shirt. It's that simple. <laughs> I got this at a show. Uh, it was the one time I saw Hailstorm. Hopefully not the last time. Um, it was an incredible show. And, of course, I had to take home a shirt. So, Hailstorm, right on the front. I like it heavy. And, um, of course, the tour date's on the back. Tour winter 2014, baby can't believe it's already been a year. It's been a year since I got this shirt. It just, I look at it as one of my really, like, new, untouched shirts. This is a Pantera tee. I got this at Hot Topic. Um, it says Pantera on the front. It's got all the members on it. And it's, what's cool is that it's, they're live shots. They're live pictures. And it's just awesome. It's not just some logo or some cartoony thing drawn. It's, like, real. Fate, like, faces and... So one of my favorite shirts. If I want to wear a Pantera shirt, I normally wear this one. 
This is probably my favorite door shirt, probably the most creative t-shirt I own. Um, one of the most, I suppose. Um, it's got Jim Morrison's sh uh, face on the front. There's no logo or anything. There never was a logo. It was just his face. <clears throat> and I decided to fringe it, so I cut individual st um, strips and I just pulled them like this. And it, they became thin fringes down here. Whee! That was weird. I'm getting way too weird. I, s I swear to God, I'm sober. I swear to God. All right, I have a shirt inside out. Give me one second. This is probably one of the most the. This is probably one of the most comfortable shirts I have. If I really don't feel like throwing on something like really legitimate nice, like if I'm just running to the doctor's office and then I'm coming back home, I am not about to like throw on some nice stuff. I mean, I'll still do my face, but like as far as clothing, like lots of flames. I love the tie-dye. It is so cool. There are logos on the front. Um, I got this at a show, so this is actually legitimately um, important to me. This is a shirt I bought online. Um, I do need to edit it a bit more. I really want this to be a very unique top, but it's a Danzig shirt, so it has their um, emblem right on the front, and on the back it has um, their logo. You can see it's rather see-through. Um, and also I have the holes in there. What I think I might do is buy some type of tool or mesh type material and sew it into the back so it has um, some see-through aspect to it but I can still wear it like a shirt um, and then have it because I'm not quite comfortable with going out in public with a bunch of holes in my shirt. So um, I got this at Warp Tour. Um, it's a legitimate Warp Tour official top. Um, it's a, it's probably my first cutoff shirt because when I when I pierced my belly, I wanted to show it off more. So there it is. It looks giant when I hold it up like that, does it not? I swear to God, it's not that big. It's just supposed to be like, like it's supposed to like hang on you, you know. So it just looks like it's like it's so big. <laughs> Here's another door shirt. Um, it's just uh, Jim on the front. Oh no, it's not. I lied. It's the whole band on the front. It's the whole band on the front, and uh, has their logo there. The lo logo, their logo there. Um, and it's an interesting cut shirt. It's not like a regular t-shirt. It's more blousey, and um, the sleeves are cuffed, so it gives her more of a feminine um, type of uh, style to it. I wanted a bless the fall shirt, um, and I got one. <laughs> So I got this on Rockabilly as well. It was very cheap because you can tell that it's an old design and uh, by that logo it's old as well. Um, I wanted a Craig Mabbitt Bless the Fall type shirt and so I got it. You can tell I don't really wear it, um, but it's it's my shirt. <laughs> it's mine and I get to have it. So This is my favorite Dimebag Daryl shirt. It's huge. It's gigantic, but I don't care. It has... His face on it, 1966-2004, and then on the back, and I'll read what what it says on the back. With all his greatness and accomplishments on the guitar, a dime will be missed more for his giving personality, charisma, caring for others, love, and most of all, his heart. Twice as big as the state of Texas. Dime gave it every day to each, oh sorry, Dime gave it all every day to each and every one of us. And our lives have forever been hollowed without him. Rest in peace, Brother Dime. It's beautiful. It's, it's just one of my favorite shirts I own, really. Here's a Pearl Jam shirt. It's in um, the youth large size again. The Don't Call Me Daughter album, if I'm, if I'm letting you know what album cover this is. Um, yep, it's, it's my first Pearl Jam shirt. This was the first Pearl Jam shirt. I ever got. This is my only Judas Priest shirt. I I always wanted a British steel top and I got it. So it's just a nice tank style. It was of course originally a t-shirt and I cut it into a tank. Super cute. I don't remember but I did buy a shirt. I bought this. This was one of my first really like tank toppy uh, beachy belly tops. Um, so it has icy stars on the front. I can't tell if it says anything on the back. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A middle finger? I don't know. 
I don't know. But I bought it and it's mine. <laughs> and another door shirt. So this this has Jim by himself right there, that classic pose with the doors. And then it says light my fire on the back. Very old. This is probably as old as that other door shirt I showed you that was like super faded. So I don't know what happened to that one. That one got super faded. Here's a Pierce the Veil shirt. It's definitely more um, toned down than the other ones. This is Sugar Skull. They are all Mexican, so that's why. And they're from San Diego, so, you know, it, it, it works for their style. This is um, an Alice in Chains shirt. It's one of my favorites. It's probably one of my most comfortable t-shirts as well. Um, it fits me well, and the material is comfortable. So it has the three-legged dog on the front. It says Alice in Chains great top and of course um, that's a deodorant stain how great how great to get that on camera to show you guys that um, it's embarrassing <laughs> this is my other Manson top um, it is classic Manson um, so it has Marilyn Manson and then all the original members of his band there so super cool one of my favorites hot topic of course where else seriously where else I got through all my band shirts. So this is my last shirt. This is um, my most recent top. I got this at a show. Um, my mom and stepdad and I went to go see Anthrax and Motorhead. So um, they wore Motorhead shirts and I wanted an Anthrax shirt. I like Motorhead a lot, but I feel like Anthrax is a bit closer to me. So um, I think I like Anthrax a little bit more. I'm sorry. Um, but I have this one, which has... Uh, I believe this is the album that has Cotton Amash in it, but I know it has Antisocial and Indians on it. And it has, um, I was trying to read the back, sorry. It says, Follow Me or Die, um, Anthrax, and it has the little cartoon dude at the bottom. So, it's a very fun top. And, I, oh no, I didn't buy this at a show. I didn't buy this at the show. I did not buy this at the show. I, um, my mom got it for me online to wear to the show. Um, so sorry, I wanted to correct that to whatever I said. I don't know what I said, but... Anyway, um, this <laughs> this video is going to be hell to edit because I was talking way too much. But that is all the band shirts I have. I don't have I don't have any others. That's it. That's it. All those shirts I have. I didn't even count. I didn't even count. Maybe I'll put a count. Maybe as I'm editing, I'll put a count like right here. We'll find out. If I'm doing this for no reason, then I didn't do it and I'm lazy. So. Um, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'm sorry if this video ends up being long. I'm going to try and edit as much as I can so it's not so crazy. But it was a wonderful experience for me to go back through my t-shirts and my collection and see everything that I have, because sometimes I forget what I own. <laughs> um, and like I said, this collection will be growing, so I'm super excited for that. And um, again, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!